Hey everybody, Rodman here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 22 of Kenshi Birth of a Hive. If you need a recap of the rules and goals, here they are, and let's get going. So, uh, I started off uh, taking a look at my home base here. I do have one tip I wanted to go over. Uh, this tip comes from Rodney Bailey, uh, mentioning that if I have multiple things cooking up at my, uh, <clears throat> at my uh, cooking stove, I really ought to have... Uh, multiple cooking stoves so that it doesn't get backed up. Uh, that's a very fair point. For now, I'm just going to prime, just just focus on dust switches, and then I'll I'll remember at some point to switch over to a new crop. Uh, but for now, it's cactus all the way. All right. Uh, we also left off with the recruiting run in the slaving area, not going as well as we would hope. But uh, that's okay. I can live with this. Um, let's continue to follow hand, and we're going to head down towards Heft. Now, I'm not quite ready to fully war with the UC, as it will severely limit the amount of recruits I can do. Oh, I also wanted to preface one other thing. I ended up uh, importing my save this game, just to make sure that all the mods that I have installed play nice with one another, because some of the mods I have uh, definitely wasn't working as intended. Um, so I did a little save and port, and that should fix that. Oh, hey, skimmers. Uh, how fast do you run again? 13? Yeah, let's go ahead and not mess with skimmers right now, because we're being chased, of course, by sand ninjas. I was going to attack the sand ninjas, but I think at this point, uh, I'd be better off just fleeing, just because I don't want the whole group to, uh, collapse on my face. I should keep an eye out for underground skimmers now. Now that I'm not looking out for the guards. Oh, we've got an old village here. We can roll on through, see what this is all about. It looks like ruins to me. With some cactus. Ah, the cactus are being managed. But I don't think anyone lives here, do they? No, that looks that looks like a derelict building if I've ever seen one. Hmm. Maybe the cactus is uh, just from a lore standpoint. Maybe the cactuses wait for uh, rain in this desert. I don't know. So we're following hand because hand is the slowest. Then followed by red rain, and then Thor and Chez and. We're definitely getting our athletics up, that's for sure. Now right now, the bounty is on my head for assault. Uh, but I'm not wanted by local faction. Oh, who are you? Oh, town heroes. I would get involved in, with them, but uh, at this very moment, I'm really interested in... This is a recruiting party. Uh, okay, you know what? <clears throat> Wow, they are really throwing out the insults, aren't they? Okay, fine. You uh, you get what's coming to you, I suppose. Uh, Silvershade also had his crossbow taken uh, when he got arrested, and I haven't yet replaced it. So I'm going to have to uh, take one of these hero weapons, and we'll just make do for now. Silver's getting chopped up, but... Chez and Beep having words with the guy doing it. Alright, you got a big old Nadachi now. How's that sound? Um, also, the Merc armor here that they're wearing is not owned by a specific fashion, so that might be good for Beep. Because Beep has a lower quality one. And Silvershade would also be better suited, given his helmet up. Uh, actually, you know what? No one but princes can wear that, and right now he's melee. Uh, what I was saying is, or thinking is, that uh, eventually he'll wear like a ninja mask or something like that. That will allow him to work, uh, to, to use his crossbow more effectively, because the uh, mast helmets have a little bit of a penalty. 
Uh, I think I'm going to probably strip down all these quote-unquote heroes. Because, screw them. They picked a fight with me, I didn't pick a fight with them. So, any of their merc armor, I'm definitely going to use. Because it, it has really good coverages. And then we'll just we'll just steal uh, what's worth something. So the helmets are worth a little bit more than the boots. Boots boots aren't something that a hybrid can ever really use. So it's pretty low on the totem pole of things to take. And I'm gonna finish them off too, because I'm vindictive. It's fine being vindictive against hostile enemies, though. I'd say. All right, so hand went down. Well, it won't be down very long. Um, didn't get all that injured in the bigger scheme of things. Oh, here's good armor worth using. Uh, so, Hella, it's yours now. And we're going to have to sort out, one, once we get to town, we will uh, we'll do a full sell. Now, the only other concern I have is that any of the armor that I've been putting on uh, encumbers me past the point of not being able to run full speed, or at least fast enough to keep up with hand. Although, however, Hand is unconscious right now, understandably. Um, which is one of the reasons why I haven't really used a lot of the other armors that I had access to. Because as you can see, Hella, it, granted, Hella is holding a lot of stuff, but Hella's right now, you know, encumbered. Not insignificantly encumbered. Um, so it's sort of important to make sure that you don't over encumber yourself. Frenchie, you could actually wear one of these masked helmets too, couldn't you? Let's have you wear that one. I'm rearranging some space. So like Frenchie, for instance, is super encumbered. Uh, but you can... Ron? Oh, Ron doesn't have his big weapon on. So, yeah. We can have Ron carry some of this stuff. Seventeen, nineteen. Still encumbered. All right, twenty. Now well, that's good enough. Frenchie, even wearing this armor and having all those meds, is encumbering enough. It's kind of funny. All right. So how are we doing? We're all good on speed? Yes, we are. Alright, let's follow Mr. Hand into town. I do believe I, uh... Well, taking a quick look at their armors. Yeah, no one has their armor left, so... Everything I wanted to grab from them, I've grabbed. Some of them might still be alive, but I don't really care. It's not a whole lot of concern of mine. Alright, so who's up ahead of me? Manhunters. Uh... I've been warring with these cities enough, I'm gonna take the long way around and not pick a fight with these manhunters. Uh, it is daytime, so we should be able to head into the slave markets, check them out. Alright, looks to me like there are some hivers, there's two drones in here for sale. That's it? Okay. Well, where's the... Oh, they're immediately attacking me. Cuz, am I actually hostile with the slave traders? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Alright, they're not going to sell me anything at this point. So let's get on out of here. The slave traders want me dead. So I'm not going to be able to buy slaves from anywhere. I can, of course, recruit from bars and the like. Uh, and I have a lot to sell, so that might not be a bad call. So his, here's Stork, but Stork looks like a prince to me. Uh, so we're not going to be able to recruit him, as it requires a queen to do that. But what we can do is sell some of these shoddy armors to the barman. The barman seems to have like a crazy amount of stock, too. I don't know why he's so uh, money-stocked. They generally aren't that. But I'm not complaining, because it uh, allows me to, to sell. So these Merc Plates I was going to sell too, and the Rangers, I know what you're thinking. Uh, I'll buy one back because of uh, Silver Shade. 
I just don't have ammo for it. I really hope the Silver Shade is accurate enough not to have a lot of friendly fire with that thing. All right. Samurai armor, black and chain mail, all that good stuff is planned to be sold. All right. So we have a decent amount of money now. Um, all right. That, that looks good to me. Now, I could rent some beds and heal up, and that's probably the smart choice, given how everything around me has wanted to kill me. Um, and a lot of people are not insignificantly hurt. Yeah, except for Ron. <laughs> and Chez. But Hand is basically falling apart. Although the Bone Dogs are okay. I could probably wait them out. Alright, so we got time fast forwarding. Oh, they're calling the guards on me because of a bounty on my head, I think. But I'm currently asleep. I don't know if the guards are even listening. Well, we'll take a seat. Take a look. Nope. No, they're just screaming about a bounty. But, uh, there's no bounty hunters here. I just gotta keep my eye open. I'm not gonna be able to able to take on a town. So if the town wants me dead, I have to move on. <laughs> what else is in this town? I wouldn't mind... Ah, uh, we'll check out the robotics. Ron, how about you head over here? All right, robotics workshop. It's possible that we uh, pick up a um, arm for the queen. Ooh, that's a masterwork. Did I need a right or a left? I don't recall. But masterwork. The skeletons aren't gr Well, I don't know. It's pretty good. All right, Miss Queen. Let's see. You are... You got a left arm. Okay. Well, they don't... They're not selling a good left arm. But I'll, I'll keep an eye out for it. Uh, what else? We've got another bar up here. And we've got uh, General Trader here. Oh, no, Animal Trader. All right, so there's been suggestions that I buy some uh, animals. And uh, I do plan on it. I just want to have more territory to put them in a proper, like, barn. Which is why I've been waiting. Oh. Okay, uh, there is a soldier that is not recruitable, a guard, and a prince that is recruitable. Why is it only the princes? Uh, this dude's a mercenary, and yep, so there's a lot of hybrids in here, but none of them can be uh, recruited so far. Oh, here's a sleeping one. Oh, but he's an empire peasant. Oh, here's one, a uh, soldier. And we can recruit him. So if I was to recruit him, I need to do that with a prince or princess. Ron just came over here because he was healthy. But uh, I got to follow the rules, right? So let's get Hella or... Yep, let's get Hella up there. Uh, Ron, what else could you do? Is this Shinobi Thieves? No, it's just General Shop. But let's check that out while we're here. Alright, Hella, up to the second floor. Let's go get that Hiver Soldier. And then, Mr. Ron, you are headed to General Goods. Man, that so much looks like a uh, Shinobi tower. Uh, let's take a look. We could buy the research books. Yeah. I've got money for it. Man, I'm surprised this bar is frequented. It takes so long. So, so much of this, like, crazy pathing... To get up here. Alright, Mr. Gecko. Is he, what are you, an Empire Pit? Yeah, you're an Empire Peasant as well. Alright, now I have to figure out uh, who I am naming this after. Uh, I think Resnick. You are going to be Resnick. Resnick is a patron of mine that wanted to be a soldier, but also an armorsmith. So, there's our armorsmith, right there. I'm just going to do a quick double check, making sure there's no one to recruit. Absolutely making sure. Because, yeah, these two are empire peasants that are just renting the beds. 
more Empire Peasant, more Empire Peasant. There seems to be a whole lot of Empire Peasants that are Hivers. Like, all of them? And then the bottom floor is Hugh. Shop Guard. Okay, yeah. I would say... Pretty much, definitively, we are not going to find any additional uh, recruits here. I'm uh I'm looking around trying to figure out how to oh even more man all of these thieves are hivers there is a crazy amount of hivers for you know not being able to recruit anyone else in this uh in this bar but okay that's fine one one is enough <laughs> I spent a whole hour to get one last episode so I should be happy with the one uh, another thing I should do is oh. Yeah, let's go over to the travel. Uh, pick it up. Well, we do have backpacks for uh, Hand and uh, Resnick. Um, but yeah, I was, I was going to say maybe picking up some additional um, bolts. Because we don't have a lot of bolts for uh, Silver Shades Ranger. And then the good news is... Well, let's switch helmets. The good news is... Um, this sword can go straight to, like, Resnick or Hand or something. Uh, alright. Checking in over here. I don't need toothpicks, I don't think, right? Oh, no, I do I do need toothpicks. She needs toothpicks. Uh, maps. Ancient Labs. Lost Library. Workshop Complex. All good, good things for me. And then the... This takes Bolt Regulars. Yes, they do. Okay, so they do have bolt regulars here. Good. Well, that was a lot of my money. Money well spent, though. So we'll have everyone rendezvous back with one another. Wait up until everyone's fully healed. All the fully healed ones can stand around waiting. Just so I know who I'm waiting for. And right now I'm waiting for just Hand and Silvershade. Uh, Hella, trade with Silvershade. Okay, so she couldn't figure out the pathing. That's all right. All right, now Silvershade has the uh, bolt regulars. And I'll keep a mask on me. Uh, Hello, let's figure out where these maps are to. So, workshop complex maybe, or just one of the ruins. There's the workshop complex and another set of the ruins. These are like libraries and the like. Alright, I'm going to fast forward time, waiting on the last two to heal up. They're talking about uh, slaves being abused, I guess. I've seen plenty of that. Uh, Hella also has the weapon for Resnick. Oh, Resnick came with one. Um, hmm. His might be better. What's odd about this is Resnick also has the Execute. Okay, I'm, I just threw it off of him. I wonder if it's gone now. I would hate to accidentally trigger that, you know? That'd be a really dumb way to lose a, uh, a character. It's just, like, execute them totally accidentally. Alright, so Silver, you're healed. Hand, you're good enough. Alright, so Resnick's definitely going to be the slowest one in the group. Soldiers tend to be slower, and we're going to head down to Hang. I'm surprised that the, uh, other than the one slave trader that got a little, little peeved, you know what? I guess, yeah, they're hostile. They're never going to trade to me anymore, and I, I'm okay with that. I guess Hand will be the last slave that we recruit. Um... Of course, Hand is going to be renamed to, uh, to Crab, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Alright, Queen says she's aimless. 
Uh, that probably means we have as many electrical components as we can store, I'm guessing. Yes, all 25. Uh, Angel, you have a big backpack, right? You do. A backpack that stacks. These electrical components are a kind of a weird way for me to make my money, but, um, you know, I want to make it honestly. Uh, Angel, how's the food coming? We have a few bit of dust switches, so I'm guessing that you've been doing your work. All the farms are nice and watered. Uh, the bread basket's probably overflowing. It is? Yep. Jay, uh, can't make any more grog. So, my guess is we're out of wheat straw. Let's try for cactus. And we'll go back to the swarm. Uh, probably don't need to be holding both. Now, my only worry is because we are hostile to slave traders, uh, I might want to lose the hostility very briefly because there's one person that I've yet to recruit, uh, slave-wise, that I kind of want to recruit. Um, so I would need to seek out a uh, slave trader pacifier and I'm curious where one might exist uh, Stoat apparently they exist in Stoat I just looked that up well I'm nowhere near Stoat but uh, let's head towards it so, if you're curious, uh, I'm aiming to recruit Ray before I totally go to war with the slave traders. And, uh... Oh, you know, these slave traders don't seem to be hostile. Hold on. Did they just not get the memo that I, like, butchered up the last camp I was at? Because if they didn't, you know, that's fine by me. Let's try to actually go into the slave trading building and see if, uh... If they give me trouble. Huh. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to briefly have... Um, Silver Shade go back to Heft and see if I can't... Oh, you know what? I have the ex-slave tag over my head. So he's probably not a good choice. Uh, Hella, you do it. Maybe that's actually why they get all hostile. They, like, spotted him as an ex-slave. Because uh, Silvershade, of course, was briefly enslaved. Uh, but that ex-slave tag will go away in 90 hours. Oh, that's a long time. Because there, there was a bunch of uh, hivers back in uh, Hang, that, or Heft, rather, that was uh, recruitable. All right, who do we have here before we walk up on them? Outlaw Farmers. All right, we could absolutely win that fight. I'm just not looking for one right at this moment. The reason I keep saying that is this is not a combat squad, although I have been getting into a whole lot of combat. Uh, some people pointed out that, of course, yeah, I'm supposed to be restricted to 10 people per combat squad. Uh, but that's like warriors, right? And not everyone... Uh, wow, you can't even afford that. Not everyone um, that I sent out here is a quote-unquote warrior. Okay, I'm not going to bother trading with them then. They have no money. So we'll head to Stoat, see if we can't uh, pacify the slave traders just for the meantime until I build up a large enough uh, hiver force because I don't want to be restricted from ever recruiting slaves. That kind of would suck. And because I don't have a good way of freeing them. Uh, there is some workarounds to that, however. Like if you drop someone right in front of a slaver and make them unconscious, they will enslave them, imprison them, and then you can buy them. So that might be a method I use. Some people have been suggesting that I, 
you know, get some sort of prisoner recruit mod, but I don't ever want to listen very closely. I've mentioned this a lot in comments. I've even mentioned this in these videos. I will never, ever, ever build a prison pole or a jail cell. Just won't do it. It is not what this, uh, this queen believes in. She does not believe in imprisonment. She thinks imprisonment is, uh, slavery just without work. So... Alright, yeah, I can actually trade with this guy. So, we'll buy Longstoat and Moo. Um, it's interesting that Moo didn't immediately... Oh, no, there, there they go. I'm glad that worked out. Uh, then, additionally, Hela is going to have to dip into a bar because these guys are famished like hardcore and uh and buy them a little bit of food because i didn't uh, i didn't have her bring any food with her all right i'm just gonna litter i don't care so long stout and moo you are gonna run to stew no you're gonna run with hella actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna send the whole swarm group back here oddly enough the squads changed orders here didn't they um, okay. Let's fix that. Swords of the Queen. I'll put the swarm above Hands of the Queen. Here we go. Uh, Hella, we were here to buy some food. So sell that helmet. Buy a little bit of food. And then Stoat and Moo will uh, start speeding up a little bit better because they were... Uh, very famished to the point where they were slowed. Uh, so, Hella, Stoat, and Moo, you're just going to hang out in the bar for a bit. Because I'm going... I think it's wise to... Ooh, there might be yet another one to recruit. Oh, no, it's the person next to him. Uh, bummer. Oh, uh, no, that's a, that's a prince. I can't recruit a prince. That's the same prince as before. And no one's upstairs. All right, yep, just sit at the bar. And wait a minute while we hop back over to Resnick. So what I'm going to do here is, Hella, you're going to get changed orders to be down there with them. That way, it's top row and bottom row. Yeah, that slave trader that immediately attacked uh, Silvershade must have identified him as a uh, an ex-slave or something. Who are you guys? Samurai? Alright. Samurai generally don't attack you. Uncalled for. Although I haven't really been all that nice to the UC. So it would be sort of called for. I'll wait for day for the uh, for the markets to open up. Oh, also, Frenchie, you could give that to Silvershade. Uh, so we're here, I guess, looking for pacifiers in the bar. So, if you're curious what a pacifier is, it's someone that you can basically pay off to correct some reputation. I don't usually use them, to be honest. I'm usually happy making war with my enemies, but in this particular instance, it might be useful to... Uh, to pay a pacifier. Oh, here's an adventurer head on her. Uh, they can help do some recruiting for me. So let's talk to them. Hello. She's okay. There we go. Uh, I'm looking for hivers. All right. So I just paid them five thousand, which is like just about every last cent I have. And they're going to send some potential Hiver recruits to my base. Which means I'm going to need to build up some money. I'm obviously not going to be able to afford whatever recruits they send with my current money. Alright, so the only Hivers here were Empire Peasants. Additionally, I did not see a pacifier, but that wouldn't really matter considering I don't have the money to pay a pacifier. Um, so even if I found one, I'd just be like, hi dude, but uh, I got no money, so goodbye. Um... 
but one thing I can do is try to sell every little last whatever I have to buy any slaves that are in here. Uh, but again, probably should do that with Frenchie because uh, Silver Shade's an ex-slave. So, with that in mind, what I'm going to need to do is... Well, first, let's see if there's um, any Hiver slaves here in the first place. Yo, who's running your... Oh, yeah, there is one. There's a drone. But I don't see a slave boss. Oh, because he's sleeping. All right, I'm going to stand over him all creepy-like. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, let's go into the bar, I guess, because it's... Nothing else is open. Oh, this food shop's open. And sell some whatever. I don't know what I have to sell, but I have to figure out something to sell so we can make a little money. Alright, so we will sell some of the little meds. Man, that does not yield a lot of money. Um... Sell the Dachi. Ooh, I'm going to sell the armor plating because although it hurts me to do so, I can always get armor plating back through work. You know, by um, physically building it myself. And that's okay. Alright, so we've got about five grand to throw around at the slave boss here. And we will buy Khalid. And of course, Frenchie is also a prince, so this is fine. And Khaled, let's just litter on their floor, because I don't care. Alright, looking good. Is there another slave market here? Sometimes they have two. Often they just have the one. Uh, hold left, well, yeah, let's hold left alt. No, I'm not seeing one. Okay. Uh, Khaled, you're going to be changing orders a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Um, everyone at this top row going to follow you. Actually, yeah, you're the slowest. And we're going to go back to... Actually, we're going to cut the dif dis uh, difference here and... Um... And meet somewhere in the middle. So this is uh, four new recruits. There's Khaled, Hand, well, five. Resnick, Longstoat, Moo. A lot of these guys are going to become crafters so that we can start our industry. I do find it really interesting that uh, I'm really at war. Oh, I'm at war with the slave hunters, not slave traders. Yeah, I don't know why that slave trader went all ape on me, so to speak. Um, there is a cannibals raid coming soon as well. I gotta be wary of that. I think what I'm gonna do is drop uh, Hella, Longstoat, and Moo into their own squad to make them a little bit more manageable until they remerge. Because I wouldn't want them to get attacked and not notice. Reorder the crews. And risk in the three speed. Alright, who do we have here? We've got Traders Guild and... Rebel farmers. Well, they're not going to be friendly with one another. I can see what the Traders Guild has to sell, but I'm probably not going to end up buying anything because usually it's just trade junk. Yep, just trade junk. Recruits delivery is on their way to me, though. That's good. Uh, where would they be originating from? I don't know. So you can see the uh, cannibal raid is incoming. I haven't forgotten about that. I got a little message. I have no idea where the recruits are incoming from. Oh, uh, here, maybe. It's a very weird point of origin. 
I can't explain that at all. And then it won't. Nomad animal traders. I'm not ready to take on the bulls. Like I said, I want a proper, like, fenced-in barn farm area before I take bulls on. Dogs, I figure it makes sense. They wander around with me or whatever. Bulls I will use for combat, but uh, I want a little bit more space back at the base. Uh, I did just get a quick flash. Oh, yeah. We got some outlaw farmers. So here's the group. They've all merged into one another. And let's actually properly merge them now. Realizing that, yes, I get that we're well over the 10, but this isn't a combat squad. It is a recruiting squad. And then the new people that don't have gear, I'll put at the end of the list and move keepers back down. All right, so speaking of gear, uh, we can get it pretty quick by murdering our way to profit. Donk. All right, thank you. Thank you. You can keep your uh, your other stuff. Ooh, I've pissed off all of them, haven't I? Now, because I don't have weapons for all of them, I don't really want to get in that fight. Uh, so I'm going to push on. And I'm going to push on towards Hang. Look at them. So mad. Running at me. Unfortunately for me, because I'm, uh... Wait, why are you hungry? Come on, I have food on these guys, don't I? Oh, God, no, I'm out... Gosh, I am out of food. Alright, so when we get to hang, we'll have to buy some. I thought I had more food than this. I thought I had backpacks full of it, but clearly that has been eaten. I suppose it was far longer of an excursion than I had originally anticipated. was originally just a little recruiting run and it turned into a war at um, Port South, I think, right? That's where I was. And uh, that burned through a lot of our calories. Poor new guys are probably like, oh, I've been freed. And then they're realizing, oh, I'm going to starve to death. It's like, no, 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 no. I will, I will feed you. I promise. All right. So Khalid or Khalid or whatever his name is, uh, Let's go find a bar for food. So of this group, uh, once I get to a pla plastic surgeon in a uh, shinobi thief area, I'll start renaming them. Uh, we are obviously going to... I'll, I only name things after patrons, of course, but uh, a lot of my patrons have requested to be craftsmen, so a lot of these new uh, drones are going to become our clothing, you know, armor, you know, weapon crafters. That goodness. Alright, Hella. Let's provide some food. Where are we going to get it? Oh, here's a bar. Um, cannibals have arrived. Okay. Well, I really ought to pay attention to that. So, they are all screaming meat. There's a whole bunch of them. Green, instead of, you know... Sitting on the throne, you're supposed to be on guard. Not that you could defeat this large raid. So, the thing uh, here is I might have to pull up stakes and leave this area briefly. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is Hands of the Queen is going to roll into swords. Uh, because I'm going to be controlling all of them all together. I'm going to turn off hold, turn off jobs. Now, I don't like abandoning the, the the home, but these guys are obviously fully capable of murdering me. And I'm not a fool, I know it. So, uh, I'm going to get out while they getting out is good, you know what I mean? I'll even dump building materials. Uh, so, let's see if there's anything that I should grab real quick. Queen, grab some, grab some food. Uh, so, if there's no one to... F if there's no one around to fight... Um, there's not much ramification for raids if you're just not around. They don't tend to steal anything or anything like that, so. And even if they did, I couldn't stop them. Um, nor would I try because this is a Iron Man Dead is Dead run. 
meaning that if I die, it's over, and I'd rather not have it be over just yet. I'm having a lot of fun with it. So I'm just sort of uh, marking spiders so I know where the hostile ones are. Some of the cannibals are going to beeline it to me. That's fine. Uh, because Queen and... Oh, Queen doesn't have a crossbow anymore, but Green does. Queen's not allowed to wear this anymore. Oh, crud. But it's stuck on her. Well, that's an interesting predicament. The uh, the mod maker that uh, enabled the Queen mod um, f forgot to disallow shirts, and now I'm sort of stuck with a shirt on. So... Maybe I'll uh, ask them for a previous version so I can fix that. So the cannibal raid against me has ended because there is no one around. Uh, and as you can see, they're just meandering. Uh, I don't even think they're going to take anything. They generally don't. Uh, checking back on Swarm. Or actually, you know what? I'm not going to check on Swarm just yet. Green here is enjoying his, um, his slow... Oh, there we go. Not so slow murder of the dude. Uh, let's take the meat hook, kill him off. Man, that armor is actually pretty good. Or worth a lot, I should say. I should be careful what I say, because all of you are going to be like, then wear it. It's like, I don't really want to look like a cannibal. Alright, as you can see, they're already swimming away. There's really, oddly enough, not much of a penalty to just leave if you're being attacked. But in the future, when I find myself capable of honest defense, I will defend myself. I'm not just going to up stakes every time. It's just when there's overwhelming odds, when there's just no chance that it's going to go well, uh, yeah. Leaving is the smart and honestly only play. Alright, so we're back here. Hella was, what, trying to find food in the bar? Hello, bar. I need your food. Oh, you had barely any dried meat. That saddens me. You also don't have anyone in here. Like, at all. There's you and the shop guard. Some bar you have, man. I'll check this bar out, then. Oh, and then there's the Shinobi Thief Tower, so I could do some of the plastic surgeries that I need. Wow, these bars are very empty. Mostly guards. Alright, well we have a lot of food. So what I'm going to do is send everyone down here to eat. I'll check the second floor for... No, no recruits. Alright. Uh, hi, thief boss. Everybody's eating. Good. Um, hand. Go find the plastic surgeon. In fact, uh, all of you. And this one might, must be it. Yep, there it is. Do it now. I was like, that's a particularly ugly hiver. And it's like, oh, because he's backwards. Uh, so what did I say? Crab? Crab it is. Whoa, caps lock was on. There we are. Hand to crab. Down to down. Next is Khaled. And I got to get out my uh, my little sheet here. Uh, Khaled, you are going to become... Skith. There we are. Done. Long stout. Oh, Boro. I said it right, typed it wrong. And then Moo. Moo wants to be a, uh, a cow, clearly. Um, Alright. Let's see. Moo, you're going to be named Talon. There we go. The gang's back together again. I suppose I have a little bit of extra money, 
So I could check out the slave market here. But I am running out. Running low. What I could do is pick a fight with more uh, outlaw people and just loot them. Do they even have a slave market here? Alright, I checked. Oh, they might over here. Ah, oh, yeah. That looks like one. Nope. No hivers. I think there was a bar I hadn't gone into, too. Let me just double check all the bars. It's because we've come a long way, right? So, Frenchy, go to this bar. And Hella, go to... I'm pretty sure I've been in this bar, but let's double check it. Yeah, this is the great big bar. I mean, it's a gloriously beautiful bar. Don't get me wrong, but it's totally empty. Uh, and then this one, likewise, very, very empty. First and second floor. All right, cool. Out we go. Uh, next up, we are heading south to... Yep, so we got to figure out who's slowest still. It's Skith. But we have a great big number of people now, don't we? So if I absolutely needed to, I could sell iron plates or animal skins or something like that. Steel, if I needed to make a buck. Hope it doesn't result to that. Resort to that. Result? What? Words. I'm good at words. An absolute wordsmith, I say. All right, I'm going to uh, put all of my meds all on the same people. So Boro needs a weapon. I don't believe I have a spare. I do. Hella has a spare. All right, there you go, Boro. It's a very good guardless of katana. Don't lose it. Talon does not need a weapon. Talon's um, named after a patron that wanted to be a martial artist. So Talon is going to use his hands. Your name is The Wall? Alright. Cool. Now we're heading south to this market here. Well, part of me... What time is it? Part of me thinks I could go to the slave farm first. Who are you? Vagrants. Oh. Gonna be beating up vagrants. No, they don't, they don't really have any armor. Let's not, uh, let's not deviate from the plan too far. You are outlaw farmers. Oh, one of you is a hiver. I suppose that makes sense. Not that you're a soldier, because, uh... But outlaw drones would be really good, or, you know, hybrid drones would be really good farmers. You don't feed them much, and they produce a lot of labor. Seems to be a lot of them, though. Alright, they want to fight? That's fine. Hello. I'm going to pause just a moment, grab my crossbow people, put them min reducing the amount of friendly fire. Now with the attack slots, uh, because of our overwhelming numbers, this is extraordinarily easy. Hey Beep, you want to finish her off? Boop. Somehow that lady still has legs. Uh, alright. Well, we're really dirt poor, so whatever these farmers have, I'm going to take. So let's see. They've got two... No, they're really not even worth looting. It's sad to say, but they're not even worth the time it takes to take their stuff. Crazy, right? I mean, that does sound crazy, but it it's sort of true. 
Each one has like less than a hundred gold on them. Alright, so I'm curious if any of the slave hunters are here, because if they are, they're going to obviously take issue with the fact that I'm rolling up on them. So what I'll try to do is I'll try to send Hella in as my ambassador liaison. And that's the noble house. There's not going to really be... Oh, actually, they do have some dudes in... They have a... Yeah, they have some hybrids in cages. I'm surprised, because usually during the day, uh, they don't work. Or rather, usually during the day, they're indoors and they're are outdoors and working. Although these um these buildings are locked up. Two of them are. Oh, they just got sent to the fields. So yeah, I'm not gonna be able to recruit any of them. Nope. All the uh, hivers I saw are being sent out to work. So if I do want to recruit here, I'm going to have to wait till nightfall, I think. Until they're back in their, uh, their cages. Oh, wow. These, uh... Ooh, slaver caravan. Oh, I think you know what I'm about to do. Hey, everyone. Instead of waiting around for nightfall... <laughs> Look at that. Welcome to slavery. Alright. Instead, how about welcome to an early grave? Oh, this feels so good. I like how they're trying to, like, put cuffs on them as I'm, like, shooting and murdering. Uh, so I'm probably going to require a good bit of uh, recovery time picking this fight. But where's my second shooter? Hella and... Oh, Silver Shade's over here. Oh, exchanging equal shots. Making sure that nobody's on hold here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spread these guys out. Because right now they're all jumbled up on the same targets. Going to micromanage a little bit. Put thorns in the middle, in the thick of things. Uh, in fact, thorns. Let's turn Ron into Big Ron. Like he has two modes. Big Ron Bash. Oh, he's just kicking. Oh, no, that one hit. And we're starting to down these guys, as you can see. Oh, they have bolt regulars. Good. And they'll have... Oh, I guess their clubs are worth a little penny. But they have very little that I'm going to be able to uh, utilize for sale. Alright, so crab's down. Unconscious, but not that bad. Oh, getting back up. Silver Shade, don't let them beat you like that. Oh, that works. It's kind of hard to see, given the uh, excessive amount of sand that's floating around here, but... Uh, I don't think you need to be able to see all that well to tell that I am winning. Ooh, nice hit. Boom. Alright, so regular caravan guard telling me to break it up. Oh, you're eating severed limbs? Okay. Silver Shade, where are you going? Just seal yourself up, buddy. Uh, Alright, so in terms of looting, let's pick someone. All right, Hella's healed. You're disguised as a manhunter. Oops. Whatever. Uh, so their backpacks are going to be able to sell well. The rangers will sell. The merc, merc clubs will sell. The bolts, the meds, I'll take it all. That's not yours. Get away from that. Uh, you know, I don't really care. In fact, whoever you were trying to patch up is dead now. <laughs> it's so dirty. Alright, their regular clothing I can leave as it's not worth much.
I think if I probably finish them off first, they won't have a problem with me looting. Oh, that's a starving vagrant. He's not gonna have anything. Alright, let's trade some of that to thorns. Okay, I've pissed them off enough. You know what, Caravan? I don't need all your fuzzy-wuzzy ethics here. They fought me. They're slavers. They die. So how big is this caravan? I didn't even really check. I think we're okay. Although Thorn just got knocked out. Yeah, these caravan guards are a wee bit tougher than some of the uh, the past guys have fought. As they've downed Ron. As long as everyone is alive and uh, has all their limbs... That's, that's the concern. Alright, uh, let's just dump the backpack so you're a little faster. Oh, but the backpack had all my ammo. I see the problem. Yeah, because this caravan... Rolled a little deeper than I expected. That's okay. I can play triage. Uh, Silver Shade, go north. And Hella's the only one that's truly very, very healthy, so I'm going to have her bail. I'm just checking on everyone's health. No one is dying just yet, so that's good. And I think what I'm going to do is set everyone to hold, sneak, passive. Alright, Silver Shade, I think you're far enough. No one's coming after you. Let's patch, have you patch yourself up. If anyone wants to chase Hella and Silvershade, they can take shots at whoever's chasing. Oh, Silvershade's real slow because of a uh, leg wound. Alright, now the only other problem is the slavers, once they come to are going to try to slave me. Right? So I gotta be a little careful of that. Yeah, you can call me a thief. Whatever. Oh, Chez is back up. Uh, if only Chez had healing items. He could start helping himself. Silver Shade, how about you try to uh, forget Sneak for you. Start running back. He'll be a little bit faster not sneaking. Alright, hello. Let's ditch the caravan guards. So that Silver Shade can patch everyone up. So once they're coming to, they're just staying low and hiding. Um, because I have them on passive hold and sneak. Which should keep them from uh, attracting attention. The only two that are still hostile with me are just chasing Hella, so I'm having Hella run them away pretty much as far as I can go. And then Silver Shade can patch up the ones that are conscious first, which I know seems a little backwards. Okay, so Oboro and uh, Talon are dying, so let's heal them, actually. And then Ron... Start patching yourself up. Actually, let's start patching up others. Even though you're super slow. I'd rather not have anyone die. Just recruited them, you know? Alright, they still chasing you, dude? Or dudette? Jesus. Let's try to run them through the uh, skimmer. Why not? Alright, Thor. You could take some of Frenchie's meds as well. And start patching yourself up. I guess Chez is a uh, southern... Or maybe his face is just bashed, bashed in. Yeah, I think that's the case. 
Uh, Chez, you could take some of Frenchie's meds as well. And patch yourself up. Man, these guys really have a bone to pick, as they've been chasing me everywhere. Now, are they hurt at all? Uh, one's slightly hurt, but not enough that it will matter. Uh, taking a look at the bleeding and bloodied. Alright, Red Rain needs my attention most next, so I'm going to stop what I'm doing, head over to Red. Uh, thorns and Cookie. Cookie needs some loving too. Alright, let's get Cookie up. Or rather patched. Alright, so I'm running at 20 miles an hour. You guys are running at 16. You don't seem to be able to... I don't know why I can't lose you. Uh, what is going on here? Caravan boss being stolen by the slave dude. As long as they're not taking me, that's fine. But one thing I should probably do is finish off all the ones on the ground. I'll sort the loot later. But just so they don't get up and start uh, enslaving me or whatever. And the meds that I find, I'm just going to take. Because I don't want them regaining consciousness faster than me and then, like, turning me into a slave. That'd be not good. Alright, job. Uh, Silvershade, your job is medic. So go medic. Alright, you know what? I'm really tired of you guys chasing me. So I'm gonna kite and fight. And hopefully, uh, Silvershade can join me. Whoa, she turned around. Don't know why. Now, another thing I could do is... Silver, you're the one, yeah, you're the one with all the beds. So let's get these set up so that we can get some recovery going here. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm probably going to give the, uh, the animals the beds first because they recover, fa oh, they recover uh, faster. And that way they'll be sooner available for combat. Oh, there's a little starving vagrant crawling around back there. Alright, check on, on Hella. I don't know what these guys' problems are. But, alright, we'll start running back... To the group. Uh, Silver Shade. Let's make Thorns ready for combat. Thorns is also going to need to get patched up. Alright. Hold. Sneak. Just hop in bed. Who else? I guess I'll plop beep in there as well. Oh, what's going on here? They're trying to enslave the vagrant. I got time for you, boy. You're gonna get killed. Oh, don't have a med kit. Uh, Frenchie, you can spot yet another. I'm just trying to keep this guy, this guard, he's pretty well armored, so my bolts aren't really going through the, uh, through the armor all that effectively. But I'm trying to keep him away from enslaving any of us. Well, that was a good shot. 
He's someone that we had knocked unconscious, as you can see by his stats. And if we plant, if we land a hit on the chest, head, or stomach, he should go down. There we go. Time to finish you off, you little jerk. Uh, Alright, back to patching. Hello's home and seemingly not being chased anymore, which is good. Oh, no, no, no. Still being chased. Still very much being chased. Alright, but we've got numbers on our side now. I don't think... Let's do a quick health check. So Frenchie definitely needs some chest medding. Ron, actually, patch yourself up. And Thor, patch thorns up. So I guess I lost one of them, but not the other. Soon thorns is going to be fieldable. Oh, that was a good hit. I'd actually rather have him chase Silvershade, because Silvershade has a faster move speed. This poor guy's getting juggled. Uh, so, Thorns, how's your health? Yeah, Thorns could fight in this fight. Well, Ron wants to fight. Uh, you know, I'm honestly not going to stop him. The only uh, trouble fighting... When you're, you're as hurt as Ron is, is, uh, oops, well, that, but also losing a limb, because you have really low limb health. You could just have it cut off. So Thorns and Ron tried to help out, but they went down pretty quick. That's okay, this guy is definitely getting hurt. I'm going to enjoy cutting into him. Silver shade. Pick up Ron, put him in the bed. I'm half tempted to bring Thorns out of uh, rest and have Thorns do what he can, but I'm going to patch him up first. I think that Vagrant just got knocked unconscious. Nope, he just crippled. Let's pick up Thor... Oof, I can barely see. Well, I guess Hella did get hit in the leg. I didn't see when that happened. Alright, Silvershade, let's have Thorns help us out here. I'm really tired of, uh... Or, no, got hit in the arm. I'm tired of being chased. Man, he is still freaking out. I think it's because I'm disguise blown. Maybe. Oh, thank you, Silvershade. Goodness. Goodness gracious, that guy was persistent. And now he's dead. I'm going to wear his goggles. I'm going to have to make sure to loot all that I can loot, because there's a lot of money here uh, to be had. But obviously first it's going to be patching up and keeping everyone away from the slavers. Because if any slavers happen upon me, what they're going to do is they're going to slap cuffs on me. So one thing I could do is start ferrying people over to the um, to the inn to have them heal up a little faster. That would be smart and wise. Alright, so let's go do that. Let's start picking up the, uh, the downed people. So... I'll grab a few of them. Frenchie's important to get healed up quick because uh, when Frenchie comes to, he will be able to start splinting up for move speed. Thorns is going to keep watch over everyone, standing guard, uh, but I realize I'm a little bit out of time. I've been having so much fun, didn't realize that an hour I'd already rolled by. So, uh, this episode was very, very productive. 
we manage to recruit pretty much every other crafter we're going to need. Uh, if you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me, drop me a line. And I do hope that you tune in next time. Thank you all so very much for supporting the series, supporting my channel, all the patrons for supporting me very directly. I'll catch you all later. Adios.